I'm going to dive into something. Yeah. We all know the we all know the problem of this country. Yes. The country is sitting. The country is sitting on on the structure that is wrong. Yeah. A country that is multicultural, multisectoral, mm. multilingual. Yeah. Oh, and then dual religious. Yeah. And then one person is one person has the whole power. Mm. One person control the economy. One person control the power, the military. How? Yeah. It is wrong. And that's the reason why we cannot make very good personal decisions. I've said it here before. If it is better to restructure the country yeah. so that every state can go back and start fending for themselves, yeah. that is the only way you cannot spend indiscriminately and irresponsibly. Yeah. <laughs> if yeah. I know, if I know that. There is no money coming from any other place. I have to generate money. Mm, mm. But generate money from my state. Not just generating money that I have to do it reluctantly. Yeah. Or as if I don't have and it, it can be paid. They will remove you from there. Yeah. Because as if but then, yeah. So, so I cannot pay tax and kill myself because I want to. I want to uh, uh, allow support the government mm. of my state to deliver. But no, you have to have pray to do it yourself. You get too much money as taxes. Now that is going. To, that is going to work in this country. That's the only way we can cut off corruption that is happening. You look. Corruption. There is, there, is a, there is American American. I think is a philosophy. He said corruption is, is the presence. Sorry, is the absence of accountability. Of course, of course, hundred percent. Yeah, of course. If I don't hold you accountable, if yeah. I don't hold you accountable, what it means is that I've given you the leverage yeah. to do whatever you want. Yeah. And time is going to come when Yadika Yadika want to create an anti illusion. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Because I'm giving you the authority to do whatever you want. Yeah. But if I hold you accountable, if you if, if you if, if you understand that whatever I do, I have somebody I'm reporting to. Yeah. I have somebody I have to give a full report of what I've done. Yeah. Yeah. And the person will frown at me mm. if I don't give him a reliable information. Yeah. A credible report and a standard account of what I did. With the power he gave to me, mm. I will do it very well. Yeah. It's as simple as that. So that is that is the problem we have. I we think, lack the yeah. government lack accountability, and that's the reason why we are corrupt. Yeah. And and and, and I know we, we disagree on this issue because and the reason why, and I hope one of the topics we're gonna discuss in in, in uh, let's say two, three weeks time is corruption, right? We're gonna delve into it in full. And that topic is the, this IPOB issue. And where would this? Where can you hear me, bro? Hello. 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 Yeah. Yeah, bro. Can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear yeah, you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. No, no, sorry. Where, where, where would disagree on this issue of um, restructuring Nigeria, right? And the reason we are, why I disagree is this. Every state, we, and I've, I've, I mean, we, we initially we've talked about this on, on voice notes. Nigeria practices a federal system of government. Yes, we can disagree. In reality, it's not it, blah, blah, blah. But at least in Nigeria, every state, in some ways, is autonomous. They generate their own revenue. They can do to an extent whatever they want. How, how do I, how, how, what, what do I mean by saying this? In some states, you can see that there, there, there is so much development, and in some states, you can see a lack of development. So take, for example, Abia State. Abia State has been going down the drains for years now. Whether you want to talk about Ojo Zokalu, 
and down to this current at Yodoji, I'm down to this current guy. Look at look at River State. I've not been there, but the reports I'm hearing tell me that the guy is doing well. It might not be world class standard, but at least by local standards, Wiki seems to have a grip on what he's doing. Maybe by be because he knows if he doesn't do well, APC will come in and take over. Maybe who knows? Yes. You don't know. Yes. But at least to an extent, he's performing right. Look at Enugu State when Sullivan, when Sullivan Shimer was there. Forget about this current guy, Buruburu. When Sullivan Shimer was there, the development that there was that happened in Enugu State was massive. Right? Look at Peter B. When, when he was in Anambra, when he was one of Anambra State. Compare him to Obiano. So that tells you that to an extent, maybe not 100%, but to an extent, the governors have the right to decide do I want to take my state forward or not? Do I want to go back to the excuse of, oh, federal government, blah, 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 or do I, can I do everything within my power to build the best roads? I mean, you might not do, you might not go all and above and do the best of the best things, but at least, at least. So that's where I disagree. Like, for me, because for me, this argument of restructuring, I rather ask them, what do you want to restructure? You know, what is, what is, because it's a, it's a broad term. And maybe, we'll, you know, like, of course, for me, it's like the one you already have already, you can't even fix it. <laughs> and you want to go restructure. Right? Do you, do, you want, do you want me to jump on this? Yeah. I make, I make, I make a two minutes clarification. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Then, then after, after I finish, after I finish with the clarification, uh, you can continue. Yeah, yeah, sure, yeah. Now, there are three things I want to point out. Yeah. The security system, the legal system, which you are part of. Yeah. And of course, and of course, the economic system. Yeah. Now, now the economic, I have to talk about tax. Mm. Right? I know we've said, I know, I know we've said this before, but yeah. let me, let me, let me say it again today. Yeah. Right? Okay. Now, in, each of the states of Nigeria, mm. each of the states of Nigeria, they they say the government, the governors and mm. chief security officers. Yeah. So the governors and the chief security officers of their states. Of their states. Yeah. But do you understand? Can we on can we agree? Yeah. That they don't have they don't have rights oh. okay. over they don't, they don't give orders to the police. <laughs> yes, yeah, we can agree on that. Yes, I agree, yeah, yeah. So we can agree that they don't give orders to the police. So which yeah. means the police, the police don't listen to them. Yeah, yeah. Is it right? You're, you're right, I agree, yeah. Good. Now, that is one. Mm. So which means the governors don't have control over the security of their states. Which yeah. is one. Yeah. They don't have control over the security yeah. of the state. So we have established that and then we agree with it. Mm. Do you know that there is no state in Nigeria that has that, that has the power? There is no state in Nigeria that has the power to decide a complete legal cycle. I don't know if this is right. What I mean a complete legal cycle means if I want to if I if I have a problem in court, mm. and then I go to the younger a, a lower court, mm. the lower court gives me judgment, yeah. and I don't agree with it, I go to a higher court. Yeah. So which means the full legal circle is supposed to be a circle where you have gone through all the circle, yeah. and then you find out that you when you come to the highest of courts, mm. whatever they did to get there, you go home with it. Yeah. So which means there is no state that has a Supreme Court. Yeah. In Nigeria. I think all states have only high courts. Yeah. So which means Nigerians, the governors in each state do not have a say yeah. in the legal process of their states. Yeah. So we have so we have agreed with that too. Yeah. I'm going to come back to some of all of these things. Then mm. the last one is economy and tax. Whatever money they generate, whatever money they generate, 
they give to the federal government. Now, the federal government would have to share it amongst all the states. Mm. So, which means, so which means, if 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 I collect federal taxes of say hundred thousand, I have to give it hundred percent to the federal government. Then the federal government can decide that okay, in this hundred thousand naira, there are some there are some states. That have ten thousand there. Some have five thousand. Some have two thousand. Yeah. So I'm going to take twenty thousand from here and give them. I'm going to take uh, ten thousand from here and give these people. Yeah. Do you get until the money is complete. Mm. So which means the state governors don't have any say. Yeah. But but in how their taxes are being used. I'm, I'm going to I'm going to come to. <laughs> yeah. I agree. I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The people that the states the states that are working. Yeah. Are working. Yeah. When you say. When you say P2B works, yes, yeah. P2B works. Yeah. Because P2B has, but P2B, because P2B has conscience, P2B works, Sulevan works. Okay. Because Sulevan has conscience, he wants is, to work. Is, is, is that, that's good. Okay. okay, okay, sorry, go ahead, yeah. yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, let me finish. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, yeah. If, now, I am advocating for mm. a system that will not wait for you to have sense before you deliver. <laughs> You don't even come in at all at all. If you don't have sense, you cannot come in. <laughs> you're laughing. You're laughing. <laughs> so I, I'm not. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about a system that will wait for you to have sense. Let's take the B. Okay. Okay. Before P2B, people yeah. that have sense, yeah. we are not there. Yeah. Now P2B, P2B came and delivered. Yeah. Only to leave huge amount of money for Obiano. Yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't get all, I don't get all money. Bro, bro, what what you're talking about is a perfect system, right? Because when I give money, that kind of system all OCL came in Nigeria is okay. Take for example Biafra, right? And for me, people, I'm, people, yeah. people, people, people think I have this. I don't have this idea is Biafra. The argument of Biafra, the argument of Biafra is a perfect argument. What I, what I, what I will fight every day against is the argument of IPOP. Those are two different things. If you are a smart guy, you understand what I'm saying. Biafra, yes, Biafra is a different issue. Everybody understands that. That's a, if you want to, everyone has a right to say, "I want to leave Nigeria." That's fine, right? But when you're yes. when you're a movement that is capitalized or using violence, and using any means necessary to get what you want, then that's wrong. But my point is this, right? Say, for example, Biafra happens and we succeed from Nigeria. On all board, the same governors, Ghana, Ghana, she southeast. I'm on the now. It's still going to be the same um, Obianos, the same Buruburus, the same guy in the um, in, um, what is it? I have your states. You see the same people. Victor, Victor, Victor Ibazo. I have exactly Victor Ibazo. All, all, all that same group of people. Except like you said, and, I, and, and I'm, I'm with you 100%, right? Except like you said, a system comes out, a recruitment system, whereby we can recruit people that are gonna go into office, whether it's senate level, house of rep, um, state house of assembly, governorship, that will go in and do well. Like you said, I think I think I think that you said is the question of conscience and leadership. That's the question. Yes. The question now brought question of restructuring or question of doing this so that the question is can we elect people that when they go in there because of because they have convictions. Because we elect leaders that have, and I said this, there was one video that was like, we need leaders with conviction. People that, people, people that have ideas and ideals that are willing to die for their cause. People that believe in something. Nigerians are one of people that believe in anything. We have people, we have useless, ignorant, ignorant fools that don't believe in anything, anything, anything at all. Like you said in a couple of videos ago, if they take out policies from their lives, they are useless. They can't do anything again. They can't run a business. They can't do another that thing. So I, my point is, the question is that is a question of conscience, the question, a question of leadership. Do we have the right leaders in power? It doesn't matter whether you're east or not, or whether you're receiving revenue or not, or whatever, whatever. Like you said, there was an, there was an analogy you made, uh, perfect analogy last week, I think, that was video. You should, as a governor, be able to find a way to develop revenue in your states. Forget about the FG. Yes. Look for ways, whether it's by state taxes or by using them or whatever means. If you are a good governor and people like you, 
they will trust you to say, okay, no, well, I take our money and use it and build roads. But at the issue, Buna, we have people that we don't trust. Right? We have people, we have, I mean, people, people at our state level, we don't trust them to do the job. So when they come out and say, when they come out and start arguing about this um, VAT, for example, we don't trust you guys. I'm sorry. But how do we trust that when you, when you take VAT? We, you ha, 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 I don't, I don't, you already, the one you already have, what, what are you need to do? And you're talking about VAT, you're talking about resolution, you're talking about this. We don't, we don't trust you guys. So that's my point, and I agree with you. The point is, how can we, because this issue of, is a big, big, and, I, and we're going to, you know, this is just, we're going to look into these topics, you know. We're going to distill it down, you know, break it down. And we'll, okay, I want, when, when we were talking, I was talking about Ibebedike, for example, right? Amoto Kun, for example. That's the Southwestern Nemo security outfits. And what it tells me is that, this, right? If we had leaders that have conscience, leaders that have goodwill, they know what the solution is. Ibebedike is a good solution. Believe me, on paper, it's a good solution. Having your own regional house.